um, it is time to water them and some of these are looking a little yellow so I'm going to put some worm castings um, I like the vermicera kind and once I apply some on there I'm gonna go ahead and water them and I'll show you the progress because they're doing so good so far oh I also wanted to mention that this tool is amazing is a recommendation um, from Casey Lawrence she uses that tool as much as her hands um, so I purchased it and I do love it um, but you can see this is all my peppers um, it looks like they need some nitrogen maybe um, looking a little sad there and they're growing so I don't want to stunt their growth um, everything else is looking amazing I will give you a quick tour um, those are some cucumbers the strawberries look at the strawberries these are indoor I started these indoors and then you can see um, there's other little ones in here this is all strawberries um, carrots um, radishes and beets over here this is a mixture of all kinds of stuff that I just kind of stuck in here one of the ones that surprised me is this one I pulled it from another area where there was two and this is a cucumber and I I know I tore some roots out of it um, but look at that and it's doing really good there's some cilantro celery um, zinnias in the back some tomatoes some dill uh, red cabbage uh, a lot of couple things in there this is another random um, this is I believe melons yeah melons are here so this is what I did on the other one I just took one off and put it there and it worked out um, I do have a some rodent around here and it took I had some marigolds here which I need to redo there it took that and it took the original zucchini and squash that were here these two came from uh, over there by the peppers I have two and I pulled those two as well and they seem to be doing good I might just take that off yeah they're doing good I didn't know I could do that <laughs> um, I've already harvested one pea look at the peas and there's quite a few in here one pea I harvested and it was delicious look at that those are almost ready I can't wait um, next time I'm probably gonna do like Casey and probably do a whole bed we'll see my lettuces look at it look at the design you see the design I think you'll see it better once I get it watered which I'll do I'll show you again because I'm super proud of it and I've got some peas here too this is where I harvested my other pea you see there's some peas so definitely need to be putting some more in here um, but look at my lettuces and some spinach uh, marigolds and cucumber oh no these are uh, beans also this is what I did you see I have two I pulled one out um, but you see I get I'm getting some aphids here which that's common here on quite a few of my plants and then quickly over here you see aphids uh, but this is um, cantaloupe these two are cantaloupe and my tomatoes are going great this one kind of tilted um, today because we had some really bad winds so I did some trimmings here to get less to get some less weight on there and I'll probably um, pull it towards the center I'll probably stake it down a little bit uh, tomatoes tomatoes these are finally doing really good Oh, those are getting together those are finally growing and all oh, these are looking beautiful and look at the marigolds how gorgeous and these are blooming look at these blue salvias tomatoes look at these marigolds I'm jamming these are doing really good too. I scattered the worm castings 
and all the beds. And now we just kind of mix it in like this. This will air it out and blend it in. And then once I'm done doing this to all of the beds, then it's time to water. Okay, watering is next. See how everything is aired out, I guess. <laughs> um, this is pretty neat. I really like it. It's a dram rain wand and perfect. The air conditioning turns on. Okay, we're gonna do this. Maybe it'd be a good idea to turn on the hose. We're gonna try this again. Okay, maybe not. Yep, that's my problem. All right. Okay, there it goes. So try not to get the plants itself. See those sunflowers in the back? Oh, and one thing to point out is that when this um, bed sunk, um, you can tell that it didn't settle evenly. Um, the water, you see how it runs, runs over there to the corners. I'm gonna give it a good soak. Well, it's sitting actually a little bit better now that I... Yeah, it's actually sitting a lot better. It used to run. See how now it just doesn't slide. It was already building a, a thick crust on top. I couldn't do it as good where the lettuces are because they're so small. This one I do this way. Sort of imitating rain. And then I'll come over it again. The same thing here. Um, it's just higher on this side and then it kind of just goes to the corner. So, there we go. Okay, so you see how it's heading over to the corner. But you can see now, really clearly, I can't speak. <laughs> Um, the design the spinach sort of drifted to its own like sea the sea that was there came here and that happened with the heavy rains the day after I planted these it's a weed um, but it looks good either way now everything is watered Looking good, looking good so far. Only one I have a problem with right now is this tomato. With the strong winds, I have to kind of pull it. Um, there is a sunflower back there. Um, hopefully those catch up soon. <laughs> um, but everything looks good. Look at my celery. You can tell that like this one needed some water. <laughs> but It'll pick up like this is my tallest one and I know why it's the tallest it's because it's completely shaded up all around it these get some from the front um, they're doing great and I don't know what this is I don't remember putting this one on the ground but I come out here and deadhead it almost every single day and then I get more blooms over and over again like look at all the blooms this is all i do come in here and pull some of these out and then it keeps doing this oh so you can see look i really don't think you can see the <laughs> strawberries but look cilantro and this is um empty i might put something in there that's already grown maybe I'll purchase some I haven't purchased none of none of my plants everything is from seed either direct seed or I seed it indoor 
but these look so beautiful. Oh, I did have a, a pest in here. Um, it was eating through some of these and I found it and squashed it. <laughs> but look, there's, look, they're looking so good. I think this is cauliflower. And here we go. Oh, and then, so look at the um, kiwi vine. Look at that. And then I had a grapevine coming and I, it's, it was back ordered. And now um, they refunded me the money so I'm not gonna be able to get it. So I'm glad I put this here because I'll get it going. And it's grown quite a few. Hopefully we can get it to go all the way across. But it's doing good, it's happy. Oh, and then this one that I found in the compost got attacked by my famous um, leaf miner. Um, I think it's because it is near the one that carries the leaf miner. Um, I'll, let me show you real quick. This is where my compost is and I haven't turned this. I was doing some clippings today and look at this. Like this is the same plant and it's ginormous. Well that is it. I wanted to show you what I did and um, Hopefully this is something that I'm gonna do every two weeks or so, just depending on how things look. Um, I don't want it to build that thick crust uh, because I want the water to sink in pretty good. Um, I don't want it to kind of drift away. I will come back and add some uh, compost, um, either one I have or store-bought to fill in those unleveled areas and probably stake that tomato a little bit because I really don't want to stake them. And that's it. It's not bad at all. It was a little arm workout, but no big deal. I'll get some strength. Like this is gonna be much bigger than this one. <laughs> um, anyways, thanks for um, watching and I'll catch you in the next one.